Okay, so today we're going to have a look at the P-Flow D116. Okay, it's a ultrasonic flow meter for measurement of water. This one is suitable for specific pipes. Okay, so you can't use it on every pipe. It'll only work on carbon steel, stainless steel, cast iron, ductile iron, copper, PVC, aluminium, asbestos, and fiberglass epoxy pipes. Okay, so if you have a different pipe material that's not listed there, uh, you'll need to go for a different model. Now, um, for insulation, um, I'll, I'll just run through a basic insulation. Uh, essentially, to start off with, you'll want to warm out your unit, so it'll come with a template, um, so you can mark uh, your holes for drilling it into whatever you're going to attach it to, uh, and then you'll have um, four mounting holes uh, that you can you can put straight through the case and, and mount it to something. Okay, so. Accessing the inside, you'll have four screws here on each corner. Just undo those, and the cover will flip down like so. And we just want to connect up the cables after that. Okay, so you'll have your power. This will take 10 to 36 volts DC. Uh, and your transducer cables will come in here, uh, your upstream and your downstream. So, uh, putting your cables through. I've got those two connected already, and this is just one of the transducers. So, take off the nut on one of the cable glands, slide it on so it's in place, and then slide your wires up through the cable gland. Okay, it's going to be a little tricky with one hand, but we'll persevere. There we go. Okay, and tighten up the cable gland. So these uh, will provide a, a nice waterproof um, seal. Okay, for power, um, when you're wiring this, you should just have the power off, so you'll see at the moment the screen's off, I don't have this connected, um, but um, your, your positive will come in the first one, your negative in the second one, and a ground is the third if your power supply has it. Now, these flow meters don't include the power supply, um, so you'll, you'll need to get one, um, or if you need one, you can, you can just ask us when you're ordering, and we can add it to the quote. Um, then your upstream and downstream transducers, you'll see, if you look closely, it's going to be hard to see in this light, but um, it says up and down uh, on the right hand ones, um, and they're also marked ports, so E is the first one, that's just your earth, second one is up positive, um, so that'll be the red, and the black is the negative. So I'll slip them all into place, okay, and grab a screwdriver, and just tighten them down. Okay, also just make sure that none of them are touching or shorting on each other, once they're tight they should be okay. Uh, and obviously do it the same for your upstream and downstream, okay, and your cables are marked as well so it says well it says upstream on there and the other one says downstream and on the other end of your cables at the transducer end so we'll have upstream and downstream as well okay so from here now we just connect up the power so i'll plug that in and you should see the flow meter will turn on it's going to be hard to get the contrast right but there you go, so now it's turned on. Okay, so now we need to set the parameters of the flow meter. So this is the pipe we're gonna install it on. Uh, it's just a PVC pipe. Uh, and I know the outer diameter and the wall thickness of this pipe. So the first menu we need to set on is menu 11. So getting through the menus, you just press menu and then enter the menu number. So 11 is what I wanna enter. And here, now we need to enter that um, outer diameter size. So 60.35 is what I need to enter for this pipe. So I press enter, and then type 60.35, and enter again. Okay, next menu down. So you see you can get up and down the menus with these as well. Uh, but the pipe wall thickness is the next one. Okay, and in this case, it's 2.3 millimeters. So again, we press enter. 
type 2.3 and then enter again okay next menu down it's asking for the pipe material okay so I press enter scroll through the list until they find PVC I go down another menu transducer type standard is the only option so you don't need to change that uh, transducer mounting okay we're going to be using V method that's considered the, the standard or the normal normal method for most applications um, but uh, you can use a different method just see the full manual and it will explain what the different methods are for uh, there we go okay down another menu okay now it tells us the transducer spacing okay so 25.2 millimeters uh, that's the distance we need to space them apart okay, so I've taken a tape measure and I measured this up and marked it on the pipe so between these black lines is 25.2 mil apart and now on the transducers themselves okay um, we just need to put some some coupling so it'll include um, a tube or two of the coupling compound if you need more just ask us we, we use um, if you want out of that stuff this is another tube that we use uh, it'll work as well so basically um, apply some coupling and um, we usually just put a strip down the middle and when you put it on the pipe it'll, it'll disperse out um, but just make sure the sensor's got enough coupling on it um, and now we can mount them up on the pipe so essentially We'll take the, <clears throat> this one is downstream, okay, and in this pipe, uh, flow direction is, is this way, okay, so this one will sit on this side, okay, and you'll see on the transducer it's, it's got that arrow as well, so just make sure that that matches the flow direction. So essentially what I'm going to do is mount this pipe, uh, sorry, this uh, transducer here, and use this clamp uh, to tighten it down and then mount the other transducer beside it. Um, I'm gonna need two hands so I'll do that now and I'll be right back with you. Okay so that's it I've now got the transducers installed on the pipe side by side at the correct distance apart. Okay so essentially all you've got to do is put these metal straps around screw these down and you'll see there's a little groove in the transducer itself um, that the straps go into. Okay, so now on the flow meter itself, we can go back and we can check out the flow rate. Okay, so if you press this top button, number one is, is for your flow rate. You'll see that switches between minimum, average, present, max, and so on. Uh, and your totalizer is probably the other one that might be uh, of interest. Um, so you can change it between a day, month, year, and latest. Um, okay, and then at this point we can probably put on some flow. So if I just turn it on pump. Now there's a few things we want to check um, to ensure we've set this up properly. So if you go into signal um, So that's this nine button You'll see um, You get some signal values. This Q uh, is important. You want that to be over 60 Okay, and then these two numbers, the up and the down, these should be within 10 of each other. Um, so if they're not within 10 of each other, that might indicate you've got a wiring problem or something like that. Um, but yeah, just make sure you've got strong signals. This Q should be over 60. And then if you go down a menu, so this is menu 91, you want this to be within the range of 97 to 103%. So just 100% plus or minus 3%. Um, so this is just a um, yeah another indicator that you've got everything set up correctly okay so now if I go back on to rate I'll go to present flow rate and that's my flow rate at the moment now another thing that you might want to do is is change your units um, so units is on menu 31 okay and you see I might want this in in maybe liters, uh, you can change it second, minute, hour. I'm going to go with minute. And the other one uh, is your your totalizer. Um, that's on menu 32. Okay, so I might want that in liters as well. Okay, 
Okay, now you'll see back on on rate. I've got um, my flow max. I'm going to go to present. Okay, so now I've got my present flow rate in liters per minute, and my total hazard is also in liters. So I would suggest probably typically you just want it on on the flow present. You can see what the current flow rate is. And that's it. It's installed and, and operating. Okay, thanks for watching.